Hello, and welcome back to the Talos Principle. It's a bit out of the ordinary, we're on the title screen again, because in between this and the last episode, I actually went and streamed the rest of Sigils of Elohim. I played like half of it in one stream, and then now we streamed the rest of it. So I'm done with that. I have all the codes, though I think I like accidentally showed like half of them on stream, so someone could very easily have just taken them, and if they did, I really don't care. Most of them I probably won't even activate, at least not until like the end of the game. I was considering maybe adding the uh, messenger codes to get more hints for levels, and that kind of was revealed that, you know, you get three extra hints from Sigils of Elohim and that's it. You just get six hints in the entire game. That's apparently confirmed, so that is a very weird system, but I do want to test it out, so I'm, I might activate all of those at some point, and then we could just do some some testing with just, like, getting counsel for a level immediately when you just walk in, and then, you know, solving one thing of it, and then going back, can you then, like, get counsel again on the same level, or is it just one counsel, and then, like, that changes permanently? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to test out with that. But today, we're not gonna do that. Today, we're just going to redeem the rewards for the QR codes, and I don't even remember if I did redeem one of them. I redeemed something, and I don't remember what it was, and then, again, someone... I know one code was taken, but that's fine, and then there might have been others that were taken, so... Who knows? I have these marked down, and I'll just input them, so just give me a second. Alright. The code you wish to redeem? It was already used. Okay, this might have been the one that either I used or someone took. I can't remember. Let me let me check. I have a spare. Okay, let's see if this one works. There we go. You have unlocked a player message. These sigil locks come naturally to me. Perhaps I have some Russian in my lineage. So I see. These are these are things I can like put in my QR codes, I guess? It's not that you get a QR code for doing these. You just get, like, new things you can say to your friends in the game. I see, okay. So, let me input the other two as well. Let's see. Okay, that one worked. I took time to prepare myself for the obstacles in this world. It was time well spent. Was it? That was the idea, like, kind of me getting to this second messenger area was what made me want to play the sigils again, because I figured the first one was really difficult, this one is probably going to be harder. It didn't end up being that hard, I mean, we'll see what the other two puzzles are, are like, but I just wanted to improve my uh, Tetris skills and all of that, so that's why I played these, and yeah, hopefully it was time well spent, hopefully we don't struggle with the remaining Tetris puzzles in this game. Let me get the third code. Alright, good. That worked as well. I don't care what people say. I'm just here for the sigil locks. Uh, what does that mean? For the sigil locks? Oh, I see. Like, in the game. Like, I don't care about anything except the Tetris puzzles. Which is the complete opposite. I don't- I really would not be bothered if they were deleted from the game entirely. But they're not, like, terrible or anything. Just kind of disconnected from everything else, it's a little weird. But yeah, there we go, okay, so all of those worked. And, again, I could add in the messengers as well, but I guess I will do that later at some point, like, let's at least get this second code. So yeah, there we go, now we can just jump back in and play the game a bit. Alright, here we are. I also did notice that if we just go out to a new area, I was like taking some thumbnails for uh, episodes, if we go in anywhere else, it should... Uh, what was this? Seven. Yeah, let's go in here. It should... We should get a little, uh, talk to. Chaos is that which existed before time. When the words of a story lose their meaning. When actions cease to have purpose. Know that only faith can protect you from this peril. Here, in the Garden of Worlds. Great! Yep, okay. Also, by the way, the performance is like back to being ultra smooth, so I guess last time, the two last episodes, I should have just like rebooted my PC! So, hopefully it keeps being good, so that's nice. 
But yeah, let's go back in... Was it here? Yeah. And we'll do the remaining two sigils. But yeah, this area doesn't like run flawlessly, but it does run a lot better today. There are still areas that don't run amazingly, but they're still uh, pretty okay. Better now than before. Oh, yeah, this is super easy. Wow. No problem there. Let's see if this other one is just as easy. This one is harder? Okay. Yeah, this, this looks quite a bit harder. The general strategy was to, like, kind of get cubes out of the way first. Cubes and line pieces are kind of a problem, usually. And then these are also a bit tricky. And T's are kind of the most flexible, so I'll probably want to keep those for as long as I can. Hmm, this doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Nice. Okay. Well, that was very painless. Cool. Maybe my skills have improved. I have no idea. Or maybe that was just a fluke. I guess we'll see when we get to uh, more of them in the tower and in the final area. Like, the final messenger area. So yeah, this one connects up to here. And we don't have any boxes here, so it's not like I could have uh, cheesed it by climbing over. You actually do have to do all four of these, unless there's some other way to jump in. There could be. Also, yeah, when I was taking screenshots for the uh, thumbnails, I really, really wanted to uh, include a screenshot of the like head in there and use that as a thumbnail last time. But that would have been that would have been too much of a spoiler, right? So I decided against it, even though it would have been a really cool screenshot. Apparently, that's from the Swapper. I heard. I I played the Swapper. I really liked the Swapper, but. I don't know how that was from the Swapper, other than just like, yeah, it had red and blue lighting, which the Swapper did as well. No clue. I don't really remember the Swapper very well. Oh, and we got another one. Let's see if my skills pay off. Sir Re Wo. I shall bring knowledge and healing to the children of Elohim, dude. I think we these are the same, right? I shall remember the names of the dead in eternity. Yeah. Yeah, these are... We've seen these. I think so. I think those are the same as in the first one, Area A. Alright, let's just try the same strategy again. This looks very similar. Why does this look so similar? What the hell? Is this the same puzzle? No, okay, it's not. It's not entirely the same puzzle. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, this looks like it's not going to work at all. Let's do this instead. No, not that. Okay, we're getting closer. I could also move this over here and use one like that. Yeah, this seems just wrong entirely. Yeah, probably was a fluke. It's not like I've just magically improved at these. And we only have J's. We do not have a single L piece, which would help. Oh boy, it's like I'm streaming sigils again. Just staring at the screen and trying nonsense. This kind of pattern seems like it could maybe work.
Ah, man. That's close. Can we do anything about this? Not really. Damn it! We just need the line piece. Damn it! We just need the cube! Damn it, we just need the line piece. Oh man. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, that was a hard one. And there we go! We now have two. And who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Day again, or is it gonna be a different friend of mine? What's up? Good morning. It's Rolo 2! Great. Ah, can't block them. Welcome, child. I am one of those who elected to remain in the world as a messenger of the hidden words. If you are ever in need, seek us out and cry for help. We will do what we can. Alright, that was a hard one to scan. Not that I needed to, because I think they're, they're just the same in all three areas, but might as well. So yeah, there we go. Now we're done here, and I, I don't even know, like, this is, I'm, it's about time for me to end off the episode, but I'm sure it's only, like, about halfway into the episode because of, uh, the sigils, so we'll probably try and do something else today, just for a little bit. Also, someone kind of spoiled things again, please don't do this. They did say that there was a, uh, a hidden walkie-talkie in one of the hubs, and I, I had a look around because, like, you know, if, if it's been spoiled, might as well. It's not like I'm gonna not find that out of spite. But I had to look around and I couldn't find it. I looked through all three of them and there was just nothing. So, I don't know. I, I guess it's very, very well hidden. I'll have to look around more later, I suppose. And there's nothing we can do here, right? No, we still need two more pieces. So, yeah, I guess it's just go to area C. That's the thing we can do. So here we go. Now we get to see what kind of like, I don't know, French architecture this is going to be or whatever. I don't even know what this is really based on, but we'll just go in. I did have a look around here as well a lot and didn't I, wasn't there something I was going to show? Oh, not really show, but just I noticed when looking around, it's kind of interesting. If you turn off the music, uh, it's like about at the seven or so. I want to have it at the same level. Then when you walk around or just stand here, you hear these like footsteps and stuff. Like people just walking just one step at a time and it's like really, really sparse and kind of eerie. Like, why would there be footsteps in the background? And sometimes you hear like a door closing and something like that. So I guess it's, yeah, I don't know what that was right there. I guess it's like the different, different programs, different people throughout time and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of nice. I like the uh, eerie atmosphere here. Like something feels a little wrong somehow. All right, let's go into the first level and get started on the sea hub. Can we get? Yeah, we can get these two. So let's focus on that to begin with. There's one star and yeah, I definitely want to get the stars. So. Priority number one is get these two, and then priority number two is get two more stars. And then I guess priority number three would be find a level that has this one. 
yeah, I really want to see what this is all about. See what kind of power we get. But let's get into number one. Right, of course, we're going to be reading. So this is more of a, like, medieval forest castle kind of theme. I mean, that was... That was my prediction, wasn't it? That was kind of what I thought, like, medieval, some, uh, like, religious statues and stuff like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. This area does run kind of poorly, but it's to be expected when there's this much, like, foliage. Nice rainbow. Oh. Is this the star? Ow, ow. Okay, didn't think he could reach there. All right, let's just uh, talk, I suppose, or read. Yeah, maybe we'll just read these and then end it off. We'll have to see how long it takes. MDVTH Apocryph... Ap Ap Apocrypha? One? I don't know what that means. The Apocrypha, Apocrypha of Saint Edwold? This vision was granted by the Archangel Uriel. Oh, and there's a, an audio log to my left, I didn't notice that. To the humble servant Eadwold, I guess I'll say. I don't know if it's like Eadwold. That he might bear testimony of possible hexadecimal. That could be hexadecimal function. Yeah. I've turned to the north and saw seven black clouds coming down upon the land. And each cloud was a plague unleashed from the throne of God in the time of the Nephilim. I guess much of this is going to be like Christianity based writing in this area. Because we have we had the whole uh, scribe and, and Anubis and all of that in the land of death. And then the first one it was like, was that like Greek philosophy or Roman stuff? I, I always mix those up. I can't remember what we really heard about. I think it was like Greek philosophy, like Athena and stuff like that. Yeah then this is going to be kind of biblical stuff, I suppose. Uh, where was I? In the time of the Nephilim. In that age, the plagues were buried in the pit, there to remain until the end of days, which was surely now come. I fell to my knees and prayed, and before me appeared seven angels, riding their chariots, wheels within wheels turning in the sky, and their light hid the clouds from my sight. One angel stepped down onto the earth, and by his fiery sword I knew him to be Uriel. He spoke, saying, Seven plagues have awoken in the land, but not at the hand of Elohim. Look upon the wages of sin, and shall he send forth the deluge once more to cleanse the land of this evil? Shall he end all that slithers and all that crawls, and the birds of the sky and the fishes of the sea, to, the, to end that which you uncovered in your folly? You done fucked up. All right, let's see if I can translate some uh, hexadecimal here, so give me a second. Yep, there we go. Sure enough, the lion and wolf shall cease. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but sure. Okay. Next up, we have Sarabai. Naja, yep. Yeah. I don't think this is hexadecimal. No, there's like S's and X's and stuff. Tags none. Everything's dark and quiet. The stars are brighter than I've ever seen them. I can hear the faint sound of water high above. Inside, Alexandra is recording one of her time capsule messages while running tests on the scenario module. Arkady is uploading another batch to the archive while muttering something about the MLA program. The snake. He's like being pesky, I guess. And Omar is sleeping on the couch we put up yesterday. And I'm sitting here, writing this, having trouble believing that it will e ever end. That this oddly peaceful existence of ours won't just go on forever. I look at Talos and El, and their purpose seems like something that, that's always going to be in the future. An ideal to work towards, not something that will become real. I wonder if there will be quiet places in the simulation, places to rest without thinking about the future. I hope so. Everyone deserves some moments of peace. Well, yeah, I guess we have that. Some uh, some places that are just nice to stay and rest. And then finally, hope. That might be hexadecimal. Yeah, it could be. All right. Hi, I hope you get this. The internet's been disappearing unpredictably. I want you to know that I'm going to try and get to you. I know it's far and there's not a lot of time, but I think I can manage. 
I want to be with you, and frat. On the road, trying to get to you seems better than... What? Than... And... Something? I don't know what that would be. Dying on the road, but what is frat? Seems better than just staying here, so far away from you. At least I'll be as close as I can get. Remember... something. But hey, don't be sad. I might make it. I've thought about it, and the distance should be crossable on time. Assuming the... don't kick in before... the symptoms or something? The maybe specific symptoms? See you soon. I love you. Alright, well, let's see if I can translate this as well. Ah, I might have made a mistake here or something, but heaven in hell is despair? Or something? Hmm. I don't know. I, I probably made a mistake here somewhere. I'm not sure if you can spot it. Like, I'm not writing it in the format or whatever. Because, yeah, someone gave me a good tip just in the Steam overlay. I just pull it down so I can just type and look at this at the same time. That works sometimes, but then... When things are, like, too far down on the screen, you can't do that if you can't, like, scroll up high enough. But yeah, or scroll down, I guess. If it's, like, too... Uh... Yeah, if it's too close to the end, then you can't really do it. But yeah, there we go. And that's it. And this doesn't blink again. We do have a log here. We probably have another secret terminal, it seems like we usually do. But... I'm going to end it there. I don't know how long this episode is going to be because of the, the editing and cutting and stuff. But I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We will explore more in World C next time. Bye-bye.